Okay, then this one, right? C is retina, correct? Because it's referring to the whole layer here. Okay. And wait, let me remove this. Yes. So it's referring to the whole layer. And then here, right? Yeah. This is a content error issue, I think. Because you said C, the retina has the highest number of photoreceptors. Um, where most images are formed, where light rays fall on them. So that's actually this area here, this sink, sunken pit here. Because it's directly at the back of the eye, right? So that's where most light goes. And you are describing the fovea, which is this sunken part. Yeah, so this is just a content issue. Because if you knew the difference, then I think this wouldn't have made this mistake. Yeah, so they're trying to say like, if the whole layer of the retina is damaged. Huh? Okay, so that's the correction. Uh, then this one uh, is an application question. Okay, and let, let's see where it went wrong. Huh? So the metal frame is rigid, true, because, okay, we must understand what is it uh, comparing to. So let me bring up the eye picture. Okay, here, right, in our notes. So you see, we have the ciliary muscles uh, there at the outside. And then we have the suspensory ligaments. Then the lens is in the middle, right? Okay, then let's compare that to here. So the metal frame is the ciliary muscles. And then the all these lines, uh, the elastic belt is suspensory ligaments. And then this in the middle is the lens. Yeah, so they're very nice. Eh? They give you all the answer already. <laughs> I, if I'm set a question, I won't be so nice. So anyway... Good, you, you realize that uh, the outside ring is rigid. It doesn't, you know, cannot change shape. So that's correct. That's why you got to take. Okay, next one, you said elastic belt is always taut. Suspensory ligaments can be taut and also slackened. I think the point that you compare, right, is not strong enough. That's why the marker didn't see, like, uh, why, why should I give this correct? Okay, what is a stronger point? What's a better comparison that's like, you know, they would say, yeah, this is definitely a difference. Is that, you know, these are elastic. You see that, the keyword there, elastic belt, right? And you, you can imagine a trampoline, right? It is like elastic, can stretch, right? But a suspensory ligament cannot stretch. It's like a rope. Like, you know, I showed the dental floss in a, in a class, right? Can you stretch it? No, right? So that is a big difference. I would use that instead. Okay, I would say that the suspensory ligaments cannot be stretched. Yeah, uh, you know, they, they can be slackened on top, but it cannot be stretched. Whereas this one is elastic, so that's a big difference, right? Okay, and then the last one, stretchable mat, which is the lens, representing lens, can become concave and convex. Okay, so... This only applies to a shape, right? Let me draw. Like this. This is con convex, okay? This is concave lens, okay? But this mat, right, is just one line. So we can't call it concave or convex because when a person jumps on it, it becomes like this, right? Yeah, but we can't call this concave or convex and we can't call this also. So that's why you can't say this, okay? Um, okay, while lens can, yeah, right, yeah. So that is why you cannot say that. I, if, if it was me, right, I would say that the mat is thin and it's just one like strip, whereas the lens is uh, has a thickness to it, right? And the mat is not even convex, but a lens is convex. Yeah, I, I would say that. Okay, then here, this neuron question. Yeah, this is the motor neuron. Okay, and then explain why is it a motor neuron, right? So there are, I thought this in class before, differentiating the neurons and how do you tell it's not a relay neuron? Let me find if I have that picture. Okay, see? So... How do you know it's the last one? What? How can I tell that it's not the first one, right? So, and also how can I tell it's not the second, the sensory? So first thing I would say in this answer, right, is I would say that um, the cell body is at the start of the neuron, okay? Which is here. Cell body is at the start. So that shows me it's not a sensory neuron. Okay, I will write that. And then to argue why it is not a relay, I would say the uh, length of it, right, which is called that, or I can say the nerve fibers of it, are myelinated. Yes, I'll say the, the nerve fibers, right, are running out from the cell body are myelinated. These are myelin sheaths. This is called the exon, right, uh, exon terminals. I didn't teach you all that because this, this question is actually a bit out of syllabus. So um, it has a long nerve fiber extending away from this. Yeah, I feel like that's quite a lame one because how can you tell it's long? It doesn't even look long in the diagram, right? But you can see that it has these things which are the myelin sheath and myelin sheath is found on long neurons like um, motor neurons, you see? But it's not found on this sensory neuron. Okay. And or maybe I'll say that it has it lacks connections. Like it doesn't have many connections at the end of it. You see, it's all here, right? So that could give me an evidence why it's not a relay. Okay, then next one. Describe how the neuron receives nerve impulses. So all this is where it receives, right? Like there must be some other neuron previously that's connected to. And then it receives. Okay, jumps across the synapse. Okay, so let's see what you said. Um, nerve impulses from relay travel. Yeah, this is very good. You are specific across the synapse to motor neuron. Okay, the thing is, is look at the mark allocation. So big, right? So confirm cannot. Lah. Confirm won't get uh, three marks. So, wow, this is very nice. Eh? You got two from this. <laughs> very worthwhile. Um, okay, so what's missing? This 
this question, right, I used to put it in my CEQs, okay, a three-mark question like this. But then uh, it is not in syllabus now. So how you can answer it, right? Actually, the info is still in our notes. Let me find. Yeah, here, synapse, okay? So under this, you look at this. Um, chemicals, okay, which is called neurotransmitters, you use each, whichever word, uh, it's, it's both accepted because technically neurotransmitters is not in the syllabus now. Chemicals are released and diffused across the synapse. Okay, and that's how the nerve impulses are transmitted across. Okay, so that is what was missing. If you said, yeah, see, you underline that, right? You've said chemicals are released across. Okay, and then this question, cholera, how is it spread? Yeah, okay, then this one, right? Two preventive measures a person can take to reduce chance of getting cholera. So how do you get it is when you eat contaminated food and water, right? Or drink contaminated water. So you say here, wash your hands with soap and water to kill. So this is an application question and it requires you to put yourself in the real life scenarios. Like, you know, imagine in a real life scenario. So let's say the burger has cholera bacteria on it, okay? The burger is contaminated. And then I wash my hand. Now my hand is perfectly clean, huh? soap and water, right? I take the burger. It doesn't help, right? The burger still has the cholera. Do you see why you cannot put an answer? It doesn't help. It's irrelevant. So that's why you didn't get the mark for this. But then the vaccine, yeah, that is legit. So you could have said, um, make sure not to drink contaminated water or like make sure to drink only treated water or make sure to eat food that is very well cooked because this one said undercooked, right? Yeah, so I must make sure it's well cooked food or from reputable chefs of restaurants. Yeah, so those would be legit. So it's a um, similar thing about this, right? What, what, what you needed to do to score well in this application question is to imagine in real life jumping on a trampoline. How does it feel like? Well, this thing is going to be rigid, which you got. The elastic belt is going to be stretching, right? It's like, hey, that's, that's a bit suspicious. That's not how a lens, I mean, that's not how suspension ligaments actually are. They don't stretch. So it's imagining the real life thing. Then you won't write irrelevant stuff. Okay, this one, you got full marks. This is the CAQ of uh, antibiotic resistance, right? Which you put here. Okay, no, knowing that they, they put this question here, do you think they'd want the same answer here? Definitely not, okay? So whenever you are like, hey, I want to write an answer that's basically overlapping the previous one or a similar one, then you should really like, there are so many red flags already. Because a, a setter of a paper, right? What they want to do is test as broadly as they can to hit as many parts of the syllabus as they can so that students who only study a bit, right? And they forgot to study some topics, they will die. That's the point. Then those people will suffer in the exam, right? So they won't want to repeat the same concept tested. So that's why... When you write this, you're like, hey, wait, wait, this, this is a problem. I'm probably misinterpreting the question. Okay. Yeah, so why is it better to get vaccinated instead of taking antibiotics? Okay, so this is also a CAQ, I think, of basically antibiotics don't work against um, viruses. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a CAQ. See this? Antibiotics don't work against viruses. So there is the answer. Yeah, so it's a format question. Let's see. Okay, they just elaborated more and they also explain how vaccines work. So basically you write this and then, but you change this to influenza. Lah. Then you add more content about vaccination. Yeah, take some points from here. Okay, and add to this. That's how they got this answer. Hey guys, so if that was helpful for you, then subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to join our O-level pure bio tuition classes, then click the link below or go to thatbiotutor.com.